Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be going over a vigorous vinyasa flow that's going to also target on a lot of back bends. To do that, we'll also be doing a good amount of core work as well as strengthening the lower back to keep our body safe for these back bends. You're always welcome to pause the video at any time. You can end early. And of course, if I give you something that doesn't feel good on your body, I encourage you to skip it. We'll need two yoga blocks as well as a bolster today. And I would recommend finding your yoga blocks and bring them on the middle setting to frame the front of your yoga mat, just in case we need them for later. When you're ready, find your bolster and take it on the low and the long setting at the front of your yoga mat. I'm going to take mine to the back of my mat because my assistant is blocking the way. <laughs> Once you have your bolster on the low and the long setting, go ahead and bring your sit bones right in front of the bolster, bend the knees, place the soles of the feet on the floor, and gently lengthen the spine down to the bolster, relaxing the back of the head to the bolster as well. Of course, if you're a taller individual, you're welcome to situate your sit bones away from the bolster so that your head still fits on the bolster. Right away, if this is too much on your back, you can take one of your yoga blocks on the low and the wide setting underneath the sit bones. And if that's still too much, go ahead and move all of your props and gently lengthen the spine down to the mat, bend the knees instead. If this is comfortable with sit bones on the floor, spine on the bolster, you're welcome to stay here with knees bent, soles of the feet on the earth. Since we're starting out, go ahead and keep the hands on the floor to frame the hips and gently close your eyes. Tune into your body. Notice how you're feeling today and smooth out your breath. And practicing three deep breaths together. Find a deep inhale through your nose and guide your breath into your belly, into your chest, and take a big, slow exhale through the mouth. And two more just like that if it felt good. Inhale through the nose, guiding your breath into your belly, into your chest, and exhale through the lips. And one more inhale through the nose, guiding your breath into your belly, into your chest. And exhale, let it all go. Take a moment to devote your practice to someone you love as well as to yourself. And softly slide the hands in towards your glutes and slowly press yourself up into a seat. Move your bolster off to the side. and find any comfortable seat. You're welcome to slide the bolster under the glutes. That's more comfortable for you if you're feeling tight today. And again, from any comfortable seat, lengthen the spine. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands up to the sky. And exhale, lean to the right, slide the right hand down the mat, look up to the ceiling, straighten out the top arm. And take a deep inhale. And a big exhale. Press yourself back up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean to the left. Slide the left hand down the mat. Keep the right sit bone down on the floor. Spine is long. 
and take another deep inhale and a big exhale. Press yourself back up, reach your hands up and then bring hands down to frame your hips. Guide the hands back behind you and gently lean the heart back, pull the ribs in towards the spine and draw the shoulders back. Look up to the sky, only lifting the chin a few inches higher than normal. And feel this nice heart opening. And lift the chest back up and interlace the fingers behind your back. Lean back, draw the navel forward, heart back, pull the ribs in, protecting the lumbar spine. And press yourself back up. And reach the hands up. And bring hands down to the heart center and softly twist the heart to the right. Bring that left hand outside of the right knee. Root the right fingertips behind you. Gently unwind and twist to the left. Keep the lower back straight, shoulders relaxed down away from your ears. And guide the heart back through center and shift forward into table, hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide, wrist creases are parallel to the front edge of the mat or a little bit turned out. And keep the gaze down in between your thumbs. Inhale. Lift the right knee up, tuck the right toes under, firm the heel back. And float the right heel up in line with the hip, bend the knee. If you have it in your practice, you're welcome to sweep that left hand back behind you, grab hold of the foot or the inner ankle, and perhaps lift that knee up a little bit taller, firm the core for balance, and pull the ribs in. Take a deep breath. And gently lower the knee and hand back down to table and sink back into child's pose connect the big toes glue the glutes down melt the forehead to the earth if that's too much on the knees hips are higher stack the forearms under the forehead you can take that variation of child's pose at any time in your practice press yourself back up into table, inhale, lift the left knee, tuck the left toes under, firm the heel back, engage the thigh. Keep the gaze in between the thumbs, keeping the neck straight. Float the left heel up in line with the hip, bend the left knee. If you have any need today, sweep that right hand back to hold on to the foot or the inner ankle and just maybe lift the heel a little taller, just a maybe not a have to, it's still early in our practice. Firm the core, draw the navel in towards the spine, deep breath. And gently melt the knee and the palm back down to the table, and this time sway the hips a little bit from side to side, wagging the tail. Inhale, cow, press the heart forward, Melt the belly down, look forward. Exhale, cat round the spine, tuck the tailbone, pull the belly up and in, look to your thighs. Inhale, cow, navel down, heart forward, look forward. Exhale, cat round the spine, tuck the tailbone, push the earth down, gaze towards your legs. And flow through these to your own breath, inhaling on cow, gentle back bend, firm the core. Exhale, cat round the spine. And you're welcome to even start to circle the hips as you flow through. Let this be your practice, finding freedom in your own body and your own movement. and then come back to a neutral table. And gently walk the knees back behind you and lower the hips and the belly down to the earth. Sweep the hands back behind you. Keep the tops of the feet down, firm your thigh muscles, 
and lift the chest, lift the hands up back behind you, palms face in, keep the neck straight, so gazes down to the floor, deep breath. And then gently melt down, rest on your right ear. Press yourself back up, lift the hands and the heart, keep the neck straight, palms face in, firm the thighs, big breath, tops of the feet are still down. And then melt the left ear down. And press yourself back up. This time lift the tops of the feet and the legs. Keep the hips down. Deep breath. If you have it in you, maybe reach the hands forward, palms face in. Let's start to pedal out through the legs like you're swimming. Firm the core in the lower back. Deep breath. And then relax the hands down, rest the forehead and the tops of the feet down. And bring the hands in to frame your ribs. And palms are on the earth, hands are still framing those ribs. Lift yourself up into cobra just a little bit, pull the ribs in, slide the shoulders down. And lower right back down. Two more like that, cobra, ribs in, and lower down. One more in this flow, cobra, rise, and melt back down. This time, slide the hands out about five inches wider, root the fingertips down, lifting the palms, creating cupcake fingers, and open the heels out about five inches wider as well. Slowly lift the heart up, only go as far as feels good on your back. So important to pull those ribs in strongly here. Relax the shoulders down and twist the heart to the right. And twist the heart to the left. And unwind, lower the heart down, press yourself up table, sink back child's pose. Rise up into table, walk the knees back a few inches away from the hands, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog, pedal out through the heels. Root the thumbs and the index fingers down, spiral the elbow creases forward, completely straighten out the arms. And start to put a deep bend in the knees, and draw the hips up and back even higher. You can always take downward facing dog like this, especially if keeping the legs straight is too much on your body, or you start to notice your shoulders rocking forward like so. If that's still too much, you can always take down dog from hands and knees and table like this. Everyone come into a down dog with the knees bent, hips high, look forward and slowly walk up to the front of your yoga mat. Lift up halfway, bring palms to shins, look forward. Put a deep bend in the knees and fold forward, soften hands down towards the mat. Hold on to opposite elbows and just for this first one, relax your shoulders, relax the neck, soften the upper body completely. Sway the upper body a little bit from side to side like a pendulum, swing from right to left. And come back to stillness and soften the hands down towards the earth and gently coil the spine up one notch at a time. Let the crown of the head be the last thing to lift. And inhale, circle, sweep the hands up, palms face in. And exhale, mountain, palms face forward. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward from the hip creases. And press the weight into the toes instead of just the heels. And you can always bring hands to blocks in a forward fold. Knees can always be bent here. For most of us, they will be at least a little bit. 
firm your thighs, keep that fold from the hip creases, not from your waist, and draw the shoulders up away from the ears, engaging the upper back. Lift up halfway, lengthen the spine, look forward, palms on chins, and fold forward again. This one might be a little deeper, or maybe it's not. Listen to your body, never stretch past what feels good. And put a deep bend in the knees, straighten out your back, look forward, and rise up to stand, circle sweep the hands up, and exhale mountain. Palms face forward, hands frame the hips, keep the whole body strong. Inhale, rise, sweep the hands to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward from the hip creases, forward fold. I'll lift up halfway, lengthen the spine. Bend the knees, plant the palms at the front of your yoga mat. We're gonna go a little bit faster now. Step the right foot, then the left foot back to plank, firm the thighs, and tuck the tailbone. So think small butt here and spiral the eyes of the elbows forward. You can always bring knees down in plank if that's too much on your body. Yogi's choice, honor wherever you're at today. Chaturanga, rock forward on the tips of the toes if knees are up, and lower down, pull the elbows in. Three, two, one. Don't let the shoulders drop past the elbows. Untuck the toes. Baby cobra, lift the hands and the heart. Keep the feet down, firm the thighs. Inhale, exhale. Lower the palms and the forehead back down. One more baby cobra, lift the hands and the heart. Inhale, exhale. Lower the palms to the mat, hands frame the ribs, soften the forehead down. A full cobra pose, keep hands down. Lift the heart up only as high as feels good. And draw the shoulders down and back, pull the ribs in. Tuck the toes, rise up and back, downward facing dog. And put a deep bend in the knees, look forward, firm your belly. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway, fold forward. Bend the knees straight in your back, rise up to stand, reach the hands up. Exhale, mountain. And go ahead, inhale, sweep the hands up. Interlace the fingers at the top. Lean back, pull the ribs in, firm the feet down to the mat. And swan dive forward, forward fold. Lift up halfway, bend the knees, plant the palms at the front of the mat. Step the left, then the right foot back to plank, chaturanga lower, three, two, one. Untuck the toes, cobra. And tuck the toes, downward facing dog, deep breaths. Put a deep bend in the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Lift up halfway and fold forward. Bend the knees, rise up to stand. Sweep the hands up and exhale mountain. Now this time interlace the fingers behind the glutes. Draw the shoulders back, pull those ribs in, so important. Lean the heart back only as far as feels good. So maybe that's just a little, and maybe that's a lot. Rise back up, circle, sweep the hands up, and fold forward. Lift up halfway, bend the knees. And go ahead, find your blocks. Take them to frame your feet on the medium setting, hands on blocks. Step just your right foot way back. Melt the right knee down, untuck the toes. If this is too deep, you're just gonna send the right knee forward closer to the blocks more. Listen to your body. Rise up, lift the heart, circle, sweep the hands up, and bring hands to the heart center. Try to keep that left knee over the left heel. 
Interlace the fingers behind your back, open the heart, lean back, pull the ribs in. Maybe you're just going back a little, maybe you're going back deeper. We all have different bodies, but we're still warming up. So make sure you're not going past what feels good. Try to keep the ego out of this. Rise back up, reach the hands up, and bring hands down to those blocks. Keeping hands on blocks, tuck the right toes under, lift that right knee, step the left foot back to plank with hands on blocks, lift the right knee and plank, bring the right knee into the chest, right knee taps the right elbow, right knee taps the left elbow, right knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow, step it back, plank, and go ahead and lift up into down dog with hands on blocks. And bend the knees, look forward, and walk to the front of your mat. And fold forward. And bend the knees, rise up to stand, swim the hands up. And bring the hands down, guide palms to the lower back, fingers face down. Lean back, maybe a little, maybe a lot. Pull those ribs in. And press yourself up. Reach your hands up, fold forward. Lift up halfway. Bend the knees, bring hands to your yoga blocks. Step just the left foot way back. Melt the left knee down, untuck the left toes again on the side. If that's too much, that left knee draws closer to the blocks. It's still fairly early in our practice. Press the heart up, circle sweep, hands up. And bring hands down and guide hands behind the glutes. Interlace the fingers, this time taking the opposite pinky on the outside. Lean back, maybe just a little, maybe deeper. Pull those ribs and listen to your body. Keep the core engaged. And rise back up, lift the hands. And bring hands down to blocks, tuck the left toes. Lift the left knee, step the right foot back, plank. Lift the left foot up, draw the left knee into the chest, engage the core. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Step it back, plank. Arise up, down dog, hands on blocks. And from here, go ahead your blocks to frame the front of the mat and come back to down dog with hands on your yoga mat instead of blocks. Shift forward plank again. Swim through a vinyasa, chaturanga, cobra, down dog. Bend the knees. Look forward, exhale, step or float to the front of the mat. Lift up halfway, fold in. Bend the knees, rise up to stand, reach the hands. Exhale, mountain. From here, go ahead and step to the middle of your yoga mat and come to face one side, it doesn't matter which side. And bring hands to your hips. Exhale, step or float the feet out wide. Swim the hands up. Bring hands to the heart. Slide heels in, toes out. Bend your knees, goddess pose. Send the hips down only as deep as feels good. So maybe hips are higher, especially if you're newer to this practice. Deeper doesn't mean better. And even if you are a really flexible person, I don't want your hips going lower than your knees here. Deep breath. Lean to the right, root the right forearm on the right thigh. Lift the left hand up overhead, palm faces down, gaze to the sky. And keep this left knee over the left heel. It likes to come in a little. And take advantage of a nice deep breath here. Press yourself up, goddess. Breath. Lean to the left, same thing. Rise up, goddess. My legs are screaming at me too. 
Press the hips back up, straighten the legs, toes in, heels out, wide-legged forward fold. You're welcome to hold on to behind the knees or maybe behind the calf muscles or the ankles for more. Knees can be bent here, even if the chest is up quite tall, perfectly fine. Whichever version you're in, keep pressing the weight forward so you're not sinking into the heels, but heels are still on the mat. And bend the knees, rise up to stand, swim the hands up. And bring hands to heart, bend the knees, step or float the feet back together. Walk to the front of your mat, reach the hands up, fold forward. Lift up halfway, bend the knees, plant the palms either step or float back to plank landing on bent elbows. Keep the core and lower back engaged. Flow through your vinyasa. And bend the knees. Look forward, step or float to the front. Lift up halfway, fold in. Bend the knees, rise up to stand, reach your hands up. Exhale, mountain. And come to stand to the middle of your mat. And come to face one side. Bring hands to hips again. Bend the knees. Exhale, step or float the feet out wide. Reach the hands up. And bring hands to your heart. Slide heels in, toes out. Bend those knees, goddess pose. Take a deep breath. And this time, bring palms to your thighs and slide the chest forward, probably about eight inches. And then start to twist the heart to the right for more. Option to lower that shoulder down in line with the knees. Take a deep breath, you've got this. And come back to goddess with hands on knees, heart forward. And then twist the heart to the left. Maybe lower the shoulders down halfway for more. Relax the toes if you're scrunching them. I know I am. And find your breath. And come back to center. Lift the hands up. Keep the hips down. One more breath. And draw the hips up straight in the legs. Lift the hands. Toes in, heels out wide, like a forward fold. And bend the knees, rise up to stand. Reach the hands up and bring hands to hips. Bend the knees, exhale, step or float the feet back together. Walk to the front of your mat, inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway, bend the knees, step or float back and flow through your vinyasa. Bend the knees. Look forward, exhale, step or float to the top. Lift up halfway, fold forward. Bend the knees, rise up to stand. Reach the hands up, exhale, mountain. Coming into dancer's pose, you're welcome to walk towards a wall to help you with balance. Or you can do this at the middle of your mat, your choice. Whichever version you're taking, look down at the toes, make sure they're all facing forward. Root the big toes down, firm the thighs, and look at something that's not moving. Bend the right knee, send the right heel back. Bring the right palm to the outer right ankle. If you're bringing your hand to a wall, bring the left hand to a wall. Draw the heart forward, keep your hips level, send that right heel back more. For those of you who have more to give, you're welcome instead to bring the right palm 
to the inner right ankle and maybe lift up a little bit taller. Try to keep those hips level, so don't let that right hip come up higher than the left hip. Deep breath. And press yourself back up from here. I want you to pull the right knee into the chest with both hands and round the spine in towards your knee. Little counter stretch. And then gently lower the right foot down and shake it out. And keep the big toes rooted down, engage the thighs. Look forward at something that's not moving from here. Lift the left foot, send the left heel back. Bring that left palm to the outer left ankle. If you're bringing a hand to a wall, you're gonna bring the right hand to a wall and draw the heart forward. Maybe send that left heel up a little higher. Keep the hips level, engage your belly, draw the navel in towards the spine. For more, just bring the left palm to the inner left ankle and perhaps lift the heel up a little taller. Deep breath. And gently press yourself back up. From here, pull the left knee into the chest with both hands, round the spine in towards the knee. You've got this. Lower the left foot down and shake it out. Come to the front of your yoga mat. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step or float back and flow into your vinyasa. Lift the right foot up to the sky, level the hips, around in knee to nose and plank, step the right foot forward. If that's too much, you can bring the hand to the ankle, then bring the foot forward. Spiral the left heel down in line with the right heel. Warrior one, lift the heart, swim the hands up, palms face in. Keep the front knee over the heel right away. If this is too much on your back knee, you're gonna take crescent instead, where you just tuck the left toes under. If that's still too much, left knee comes down to the mat or a cushion in proposal from whichever variation you're in, heart faces forward. Don't worry about leveling your hips here, it's really challenging. And just focus on building strength. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Bring the hands behind the glutes, interlace the fingers, lean the heart back, pull the ribs in. Don't let that knee come in. <sighs> and then melt the heart over the right thigh, Lift the hands up higher, deep breath. And press yourself up, swim the hands up. Bring hands down to frame the front foot, step back, plank, flow through your vinyasa. Lift the left foot to the sky. Round in, knee to nose and plank, step the left foot forward. Spiral the right heel down in line with the left heel, rise up warrior one. And right away, if that's too much, tuck the right toes under or melt the right knee down to the mat or a cushion in proposal pose instead. And take a deep breath, try to keep those arms straight. Bring the hands behind the glutes, interlace the finger, opposite pinky on the outside, lean the heart back, pull the navel in. <sighs> so strong, you've got this. And melt the belly forward to the left thigh, lift the hands higher and breathe. Keep that left hip hugging in, don't let it draw out to the left side. <sighs> Rise up, warrior one. One more breath here. Bring hands down to frame the front foot. Step back, plank, flow through your vinyasa. Bend the knees, look forward. 
and either lower the knees down and find a seat or float into a seat. Come to gently lay down on your back and pull the knees in and rock a bit from side to side. Lift the feet up to the sky and straighten out the legs. Create plantar flexion with the feet, so point the toes. Bring the palms on the floor to frame your hips and slide the hands underneath the lower back or the base of the glutes. And start to send the heels forward slowly and then down, hover them right above the mat. If this is too much on your back, go ahead and skip this. Inhale, slowly lift the heels up. Exhale, send the heels forward and hover them right above the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more exhale. Inhale. From here, slide the hands away from the glutes. Interlace the fingers behind the back of your head and lift up the shoulder blades. Send just the right heel forward and down, hover. Twist the heart to the left. Inhale, lift the right heel, send the left heel forward and down, hover. Exhale, twist the heart to the right. And slowly flow through these, inhaling to one side, exhaling to the opposite. If this is too much, you're welcome to bend your knees as you flow through these instead. And that's still a great workout for your core. Keep breathing. You can do this. Not easy, but so good for you. And go ahead and come back to center, pull the knees in and sway from side to side, massaging the sacrum. And press yourself up into a seat. Cross the legs, bring the hands in front of the knees and either step or float back to plank, flow through vinyasa. And gently melt the knees down table and come to stand on the knees and the shins. Go ahead and find your yoga blocks and bring them on the tall setting to frame your ankles and bring them in to touch the ankles so they're nice and close. Coming into camel pose, starting off, gently lean the heart back, pull the ribs in and bring the palms to your glutes, draw the elbows and shoulders back, only guide the heart back as far as feels good. Again, pull those ribs in and we're only lifting the chin up a few inches higher than normal. You can stay right here. For those of you who would like more, you're welcome to lean the heart back more, straighten out the arms, find those yoga blocks, and find this version of camel. Keep the hips over the knees the whole time. For those of you who'd like even more, tuck the toes and bring hands to the ankles. Keep hips over the knees. Keep pulling those ribs in. So, so, so important and make sure you're not relaxing the neck back. It's bad for the cervical spine over time. So again, we're just lifting the chin up a few inches taller than normal. Keep breathing. Whichever version you're in, then gently press the heart back up, untuck the toes, move your blocks, your version of child's pose. And slowly rise back up 
into hands and knees. Find a seat and extend those legs out straight in front of you. And bend the right knee, slide the right heel in towards your glute. Guide the outer right knee either down to a yoga block on any setting, the taller or more support, or down to the floor. Press the sole of the foot towards the opposite inner thigh and flex the left foot, drawing it up and back so we're creating dorsiflexion. Lengthen the spine, inhale, circle sweep the hands up. Exhale, slowly fold forward maybe a little, perhaps deeper. You're also welcome to bend this left knee if your hamstring or your back are bothering you today. And take a deep breath, Janu Shirshasana. And softly press yourself back up and twist the heart to the right. Use your knee as leverage. Unwind, guide the heart back through center. Straighten out the right leg, bend the left knee, slide the heel in towards the glute. Melt the outer knee again, either down to a block or down to the floor if that's not too much on your knee and your hips. Lengthen the spine, flex the right foot, draw it up and back towards your shin. Inhale, swim the hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward from the hip creases, not the waist. Maybe a little, perhaps deeper. Again, you're welcome to bend the right knee like so. If that's too much on your body, honor wherever you're at today. And that can change from day to day, which is perfectly fine. And press yourself back up. Twist the heart to the left. And guide the heart back through center. Straighten out the legs. Flex the feet. One more fold. Reach your hands up and fold in. Maybe a little, maybe a lot. Knees can be bent. And keep those feet flat. Rise back up, draw the hands back behind you, lean the heart back, and look up to the sky. Lift back up, coming into Shavasana, softly melt down to your mat, have your bolster close by. And pull the knees into the chest and rock a little bit from side to side, massaging the sacrum and lengthening the spine. Now lower soles of the feet down to the floor. And you're welcome to stay right here if your back is hurting. Otherwise, you can just slide the bolster on the low and the wide setting underneath the knees. Open the heels out as wide as the short edge of the mat and relax the hands down to frame the hips. Slide the hands about 18 inches wider, palms face up, and close the eyes, connecting the top eyelashes to the bottom. Connect with your breath. And let your whole body and mind feel calm and still. And breathe into the moment in the sense of just being, breathing, and completely letting go.
and slowly wiggle the fingers and the toes. You flutter the eyes open like a butterfly opening its wing. Bend your knees and roll over onto one side. And press yourself up into any comfortable seat and bring hands to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. 